Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to convert a PDF document into a PowerPoint and make it fully editable. So if you're someone who sells templates, this video is for you. Before I continue, there are a few things you must know before you convert to your PDF file. First, you have to make sure that your PDF is not password protected. This is super, super important because if you have a password protected PDF, none of these options will work for you. Second, you have to be sure that you have the permissions or license to edit and convert this file. And with that out of the way, Grab your PDF document and let's get started. Launch your Adobe Acrobat app. And in the Acrobat app, you would go to File, Open, and find the PDF that you want to edit. Here I have four of my most recent products called Paperclick Jumpstart. I am going to work with the letter size document. So I'm clicking that and clicking open. When you open it, you will see a number of tools here on the right hand side of your screen. And thankfully, one of this is export to PowerPoint. I will click on that and then you have to click again, export to PowerPoint. And the next step, it'll ask you where you want to download the file to. I will say the same folder. I'm just gonna keep everything as is and click save. Immediately, it will start the conversion process. Usually it's pretty quick as you see the progress bar has disappeared. And now when I drag my folder in here to view, you will see that the PowerPoint has already been created and saved in here. Let's double click to open that. And there it is. I can edit the text. The pictures are movable and editable. Same with this. I can edit that. And the pictures are also movable here. These texts is editable. All this is editable. Now you may see that the text here does not have the same fonts or sometimes things are a little off. In this document, most of them look pretty good, but some documents, depending on what it is and how complex a document is, this document is pretty simple and straightforward. For some documents, you will find that some things are a little out of place. And that is most likely because the font is not installed on your computer. And that's why the fonts look different and some, play, some things may be misplaced. To solve that, all you need to do is install the font. All of our products come with a font file with links showing you where to purchase if it's a paid font or if it is a free font where you can download it. Once you've acquired the font, you just install it and PowerPoint requires a restart before it will show up. Now, of course, you can also change it to a font that you may already have. You may not want to purchase a font that we have suggested you can always change it to something that you prefer. Using Adobe to convert is the option I recommend because in my experience converting hundreds of PDF documents to PowerPoint, this process produces the most accurate copy. Plus, it's a one-step process. The second option is completely free and that is to use Canva. Thankfully, you do not need a paid account to do this. If you don't have a Canva account, click the link in the video description to create an account. This helps us keep the channel likes on 
you don't pay anything to create the account. And if you choose to upgrade, you don't pay a single cent extra. Open Canva in your browser and click Add New, Upload. Then it'll ask you to find the document that you want to upload. I'm doing it now. Again, we're working with the letter size document and clicking open. Give it a second or two to upload. Some files may take longer. Some files may be super quick. All right. Now that it's fully uploaded, it may not get you a thumbnail yet. Oh, there we go. I'm going to click it to open. Just like converting with Adobe Acrobat, you may find that the fonts may be off. I personally find it just easier to convert, edit everything in Canva. But if you still need to convert it to PowerPoint, once you have uploaded here and you make sure what you need is editable, usually they are, you click share and more. And you can scroll, or I just simply find it easier to search PowerPoint and click Microsoft PowerPoint. It'll ask if you want to download the design completely, all the pages, yes. And click download. Now it is converting and downloading, and it's asking me where I want to save it. So I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. And I'm going to click it open. And let me double click it to open the PowerPoint. And there we have it. Again, this is this right here is movable and editable, these images. So everything pretty much like Adobe. This may need a little bit of spacing. Sometimes the spacing may be off a little bit, but that's completely fine as well. The key thing is you got it converted and you can edit pretty much everything in here. Okay, you may wonder, why don't I use other online converter tools? The answer is simple. Most of them don't do a great job when converting a visual document. What I mean by a visual document is like the workbook I showed you. These have a lot of design images, text, and lines that need to be placed in exact locations on the page. Converters work well for plain text documents, not with these. I've converted hundreds of documents to date. Adobe Acrobat and Canva give me the best copy, and all the elements and the text in the documents are made editable, which is very important for me and my work and my customers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you haven't already, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos like this one. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.